All right, all righty, Fred. Here's the basement. I just want to watch yourself here, dude. Some of these people are crazy. What do you mean? <laughs> this is Ravenhurst, escape Fred. How crazy do you think they are? They are insanely crazy. <laughs> How would you go introduce yourself? I'm supposed to be eating soon. Let me get the food here, disgusting. No, it's actually pretty good. Oh, like, if you were in jail, that food is disgusting. Yeah, makes me want to throw up. Uh, Mr. Gales, who's, uh, who are these people? Oh, I forgot to mention that, sorry. Uh, over here is, uh, the Ripper. He killed a lot of people. Uh, this one, that's Cure Dwarf. She sneered her victims, pretending to be a helpless child, before then revealing her identity and then cutting them open. And this one over here, is that, is that a doctor that works here? Oh, no, 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 no. This is Dr. Death. He was used to be one of the best doctors here. But the pressure of the job got to him. Let's just say patient care wasn't his priority anymore. What about that dude? Oh. Yeah. Him. That sack man. Because he wears a sack on his head? Exactly. What's he done? Well, he's, he's been terrorizing farming communities for years. Yeah. I could tell, I could have told. How? Pitchfork. Oh, yeah. How would you go and just stick yourself around? Ugh, crap. Oh, shit, where's the remote down here? Didn't you just watch TV? Well, we only watch news reports. We didn't watch much. Hmm, maybe. The intern Jake has it. Jake. Oh yeah, he's a good dude. He, he's supposed to come down here to introduce himself to you. I'll be right back. Uh, hey. Oh, hi. So, what's your name? Oh, uh, the name's the Ripper. I killed many people. That's why I'm here today. I've heard stories about you, escape Fred. Wait, how do you know who I am? Your name's all over the news. It's not really that hard to pin. Hmm. So what? So why do you call them? Why do you call yourself the Ripper? I rip people into pieces. That's why. Is that good enough for you? Uh, it would do. I didn't think so. So what's what's the deal with people down here? Mostly just weird loneliness, but that's the point, it's the basement, so it doesn't really matter. Alright, I'm gonna go look for more. Okay. Hi. Oh, hi. So, your name is the Killer Dwarf? It's just Dwarf. It doesn't matter. So, how are you in here? I kill... I slay my victims by pretending to be a helpless child. By then, pretending to reveal my true identity. I cut them up. Little tiny pieces. <laughs> so why do you look like Little Red Hog? Why do you look like Little Little Red Riding Hood? Is it because of the freaking hoodie? It doesn't really matter. It's to help me slay my victims. Who's this? 
Oh, that's Benji. That's Benji the guide dog. He's basically a good dude. Sometimes. I mean, sometimes. He attacked the guard here. Got sent to the hospital. Fortunately, he didn't make it. Hmm. Strange. Yeah. He doesn't like being in close spaces being looked at. So you mean like in a room where a door shut? Yeah. Yeah, exactly. Fortunately, when the guard was about to finish his last week here, he just attacked him. No absolute reason. I don't know if he was because he was hungry. Or I don't know. He also doesn't like to be stared at. Makes him a bit touchy. What a that's, that's not really a good guard dog, if you tell me. Ha! <laughs> exactly. I'm gonna go introduce myself to other people. Okay then. Hey, if you need any assistance, shing, I'm always here. Alright. Uh, hello? Who? Hey. Hey. Uh, you're Dr. Dev? He doesn't really speak, he mumbles. So, why are you here? Is it because that the job got to your head? Hmm. So, your name's Dr. Death? Hmm. Can you speak more clearly? Like I said, mumbles. Unfortunately, Benji is not really that much attention to the doctor. Because they. Benji and the doctor knew each other for a long time, so Benji doesn't really see him as a threat. So you're saying, like, he doesn't bark when he's around him? No. So, what drove you mad? So why are you here? Oh, the job got to your head. I forgot to mention that. I think I'm just gonna go look around. Uh, hi. What's the deal with him? I don't think he speaks. That's because he's wearing that sack on his head. If you should know, I am Sack Man. I terrify a bunch of communities. <sighs> so, what did you do to end up here? It's not obvious. Oh, all right. So why do you have the name, why did they call you Sackman? Because I'm wearing a sack on my head. Why right else would they call me this? I think I'm just going to go introduce myself to other people. Oh, hey, buddy. Hey Jake, this is the person, this is the new guy. Oh, hello. My name is Jake. I'm security for this asylum. I'll be studying you shortly, sir. Ah. Ooh, lunch time, time to eat. <laughs> In former news, there's still nothing tells that if escape Fred will get well or not. After his official attack on his friend, he might commit it and raven her silent for the rest of his life. God damn it. Hey, at least you're in a better place, not those other friends you need to worry about. 
those friends really cared for you, they wouldn't have you here. But we're your friends now. Hey, uh, Mr. Eagles. Hmm? What's in that cell over there? Uh, zombies. Zombies? Yeah. Not really good patients, but I don't know. All right, you stupid assholes. Get the fuck back to your cells. Jeez, Bob, you don't have to be so rude about it. Did I ask you to talk? Ah! <laughs> <laughs> Hey, you don't have to treat him like that. Hey, shh, I did not say you could talk, you dumbass robot. Get to your cell. Whatever. Ugh. That's Bob, he's a real fucking asshole. He doesn't really care about us. He doesn't care for us like the doctors do. Or the other security guards. He just wants to get his fucking job done so he can get the fuck out of here. That's all he cares about. Ugh. Anyway, let's get back to the cells.